back in the underworld. Um, very hostile place. Lots of strong enemies for this stage of the game. Um, the underworld is, of course, at the bottom of the world. Huge pools of lava, plus these tall, ominous towers that kind of go down into the dirt aways. Or, yeah, down into the ash and lava. Um, so we're looking out for a few things down here. Um, we're looking for shadow chests, which we can open with the shadow key that we got in the dungeon. Uh, that's why we needed to go to the dungeon before coming here. Um, there is a lot of cool furniture you can get down here. Um, another important thing we want to get while we're here is at least one of these furnace looking things. This is a hell forge. It is an upgrade to our regular furnace. And anything we can make out of furnace can be made out of hell forge. So we can just throw that in the trash. Um, the hell forge has to be used to turn this, um, uh, what's it called, hellstone into the uh, metal bars that you make from hellstone. So that's why that part is so important. Uh, we're not going to be mining the hellstone just yet. Um, we want to kind of explore the underworld, open up any shadow chests we find, and then we'll come back and do our mining. Um, another very important thing you need to know about the underworld. Uh, you see this demon here. There are two monsters that look like this. One is this regular demon. The other one has a little voodoo doll hanging from his talons. If that voodoo doll lands in the lava, it will summon the boss to the underworld. So if you see one of those demons carrying around what looks like a little doll or something, you want to make sure you kill him in a place where you can catch that voodoo doll and make sure it doesn't land in the lava. Okay, here's our first shadow chest. Let's see what's inside. Got a dark lance, which is a little bit stronger than our beekeeper. We got some meteorite bars, silver bullets, pretty good for guns. So, pretty good chest down here. My inventory is already full. I have to take care of that real quick. Okay, here's one. Voodoo Demon. You see he's got that little bundle suspended beneath him. That is a voodoo doll. Um, now if, if you kill him and catch the voodoo doll, it goes in your inventory. And this is how you summon the uh, boss of the underworld. Is You can just take him and toss him in the lava. We don't want to do that yet. But we do want to hang on to those voodoo dolls. And like I said, make sure they don't fall into the lava on their own unless you are ready. Ah uh, yeah, Demon Scythe. This is one of my favorite spells in the game. Um, it is very powerful for this stage. It, it has kind of a, a funny attack pattern. 
Uh, once you cast it, it slowly accelerates away from you. But it can hit multiple times um, as it's accelerating since it's moving so slow. Um, so it is it is very, very good weapon for for the immediate future. Uh oh. Well, I fell in that pit of lava. I wasn't going to be able to get out, so I took an obsidian skin potion that I found. Since I have it on, I'm also going to drink a gills potion so I can breathe under the lava and go ahead and do a little bit of mining so I don't waste that potion. I can basically stay under the water until those potions run out. Once gills runs out, I'll need to take another one so I can breathe. Uh, once obsidian skin runs out, I need to get out of the lava fast. Easy homing bow. When arrows turn into flaming bats, that's pretty cool. Here's one edge of the underworld. So now I'm going to use our magic mirror, get back up to our base, and we're going to explore the other side.
Power of Fire, that's a good one. Um, not the most useful, but it is a lot of fun. some reach. Flame Lash. That's a good find. Um, Flame Lash used to be a very rare magical item. Um, it would often not even spawn in the uh, in the world that you generated. So that could be a really good thing, or it could just be that they've patched it to show up more often. I don't know. Either way, I'm happy to see it. It's a direct upgrade to the foil category. was all gone. Anywho, so the flower of fire just throws a fireball that bounces along. It reminds a lot of people of Super Mario Brothers. Um, so that's why people like it. The other one, Flame Lash, it's a direct upgrade from the magic missile. Um, Basically, as long as you hold down the mouse button, the projectile will follow your mouse wherever it goes. Um, which makes it makes it handy for hitting things way on the other side of large bits of cover. It will disappear if it hits anything, though. Also, when you let go of the mouse button, it'll continue whatever direction was moving last. Um, shot for shot, it does a lot of damage too, so it, it can be a good thing just to, just to cast directly at stuff. So, both of those are fun. Not, not as strong as our Demon Psy. Um, this one claims to do less damage than the other two. But this one can possibly hit the target so many more times that it out damages it easily.
And here we are, the other edge of the world. So we now have the entire underworld mapped out. So we're going to warp back to base, do some inventory management, and um, prepare to fight the um, boss of the underworld. So we'll probably call it an episode there. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe to see what I do next time, and thanks for watching.